now here we are with Will Pets. Will, thank you for coming to our studios. Uh, you are an amazing, actually, person and entrepreneur, shall I say, that I met a couple weeks ago, right at the heart of the action. Can you tell our audience about what is quiet events? You brought the headsets. This is an interesting interview, so we're going to talk about it. What is quiet events? So quiet events is the umbrella name for lots of different things that we do. One of those things is called quiet clubbing. I know when you say it out loud, it sounds really crazy, mm -hmm. but it really works really well. But and it is crazy. And it is crazy, yeah. So basically, you go into a club, a bar, a rooftop, wherever you are, and there's zero music. But everyone's dancing and having a great time. And that's because when you walk in, you get these headphones that tune into either three different types of DJs or types of music or even TV. So that um, there's no music outside, and people are dancing, and they can see who's listening to what music because of the colored LED lights on top. So you can dance with someone dancing the same music or even dance with someone that's dancing different music. That's so interesting. It's great. I mean, I experienced myself, but this is a hot new trend, right? How old is this concept? So the concept actually comes from the UK. It's been about seven years, and it's called Silent Disco there. However, it never really caught on in the US because it was really the underground, like, you know, people that are a little shady, that, you know, like a uh, you know, druggy kind of scene. I don't know if I should say that, but... Um, That's okay. Why not? It's, you know, uh, it was really to get around the cops, right? So after, like, 3 o'clock in the morning, they would put these on and no one could hear them. So I brought it to the U.S. and called it Quiet Clubbing, rebranded it a little bit, because that's what we do here. We don't disco, we club. And brought it more mainstream, top 40, just a really social aspect of it, you know, after work crowd. And it's really been doing well. It's really hard to get people to go, what am I going to do, put headphones on? But when they put them on, they're like, oh, my God, this is amazing. So it's been doing well. And how big of a market are we talking about? So you're the pioneer in the United States, for, right? For quiet clubbing, For yeah. quiet clubbing. Yeah. And we started in New York, and we rent them out all over the, you know, the country. Um, it's one of these things where I bought, you know, I, I manufactured only 300 because I'm like, oh, I'm not really sure it's going to take off. And then after a month, I'm like, oh, my God, I need to do 600. And every time, the orders just keep getting bigger. So I just keep ordering more and more. So we're going over thousands now. Over oh, thousands, that's crazy. And most of the clubs, look, I didn't say discos, but <laughs> clubs in Manhattan, they are calling you, they are requesting more. Why? What is the need for? Is there a requirement for certain clubs? Yep. What makes it so popular? So there's, there's two aspects of it, I guess. Is One, there's definitely clubs that are just like, we want to do something different, right, and just draw a different crowd. Mm -hmm. So this be, because you can have three channels, you could do the electronic music, you could do 80s music, you could do top 40s, and bring a crowd that's from their 20s to 50s, and they can all intermingle. So it kind of gives them a new aspect, and, and it refreshes the club. The other aspect, which has been really key, is the clubs that are all outdoors, and that at like 10, 11 o'clock, they have to kill the music because mm -hmm. it's residential. So now, you know, when a normal club shuts down, that there's no issue, because now people put the headphones on and party till three in the morning. The bars are making more money, the people are having a lot of fun, and it also gives them a, a wide range of music to listen to. That's a brilliant idea. And how about the social aspect? You told me that the social aspect has been, well, I can testify myself. I think I met more people <coughs> while I was listening and dancing, the ones that I wanted to meet. <laughs> so, and, and that's the hardest part to get to people is that they're like, but you put headphones on. How is it possibly social? Yeah, but these are the headphones. Yeah. Maybe we should put it on. Oh. Okay. No, exactly. so, yeah, so, but what happens is when you put them on, yes. to be social, either you take them off, you flip them over, and you can actually hear the music. Mm -hmm. You put them on the side here, and you can actually talk to someone. But because there's colors on top. Oh, I see. Yeah, the colors. So red, blue, and green. You can I hear see that too, right? Look, I'm green now. <laughs> so I want to probably put it on green so we can have the same music and dance. And dance. That's right. I Oh, well, it can be seen also as well. Okay, oh, yeah. so that's the idea. And in a club where it's normally like and you're kind of screaming to talk to that girl that's right now there's no screaming so we find a lot more people start having better conversations girlfriends come out and they're staying a lot longer because it's not like screaming their ears aren't hurting and you walk out in the morning going wow I just had a great time and I'm waking up not feeling with a sore throat and the ears ringing so my eardrums are bumping like even after I leave even the next day you're right I love this idea and also there are in different DJs right yeah, three diff you can do three different colors. DJs yeah you can do three different live DJs you could do pre-recorded mixes we've also done something like the final four with the basketball 
where one of the bars rented them so they can do the Final Four in one, the Rangers game on the other, and some music for some ladies and guys that didn't like sports. I and was they can actually hear it. Oh, yeah. I, I was at Club Getaway, by the way. We mentioned Club Getaway for David, too. And, um, and I was uh, listening to all those three channels, and then the DJ made all the blue listeners do certain things. It was crazy, hilarious, fun. We were touching each other's shoulder and then going in circles. So it was fun. I want to ask you, this is our last question. What is next? Where do you see quietevents.com? That's your company. Yep. Where do you want to see it? And what's next for this sector, for this Yeah, field? so um, we are always trying to do different things. So the big thing that we're doing right now is our mobile parties. So not just a club, but we can put the headphones on, 100 people, and we'll do pub crawls. So in the subway system, people are dancing in each bars, and they keep walking. So that's, that's one of the things that we're doing today. We're also doing outdoor movies. So imagine going to a movie, but you know, putting the headphones on so you can have different languages on the different channels. Mm. Or you can actually hear it, and you don't have like, oh, I'm sitting too far away, I can't hear it. But the big thing that we're coming up with, hopefully the end of this year, is a play. Mm. So imagine you go to a play, and a guy meets a girl, and you, know, you can watch the play and enjoy it. But when you put the headphones on, you can tune into the red channel, which is the girl's inner thoughts or the boy's inner thoughts on the blue channel. <laughs> so you can kind of get a different aspect of it. So uh, we're, we're about 90% done, and uh, we'll hopefully we'll see it by the end of the year. Well, thank you so much. Are we going to see you in Turkey, by the way? I hope to travel. I love traveling. Europe, so Turkey. You I'll must my, go. I'll do my best to get there. No, this is an interesting trend, and we will be, as the Turkish people, very much interested in this one as well. Thank you so much for coming, and thank you for those valuable, insightful information about quietevents.com, and I'll come and party with you again. How about that? I would love it. Thank you. Thank you.